It's Superstar Cap Bros. Master Friday. Ooh, I like Master's Friday. I would like Master's Mondays too. You can't be greedy. Oh. Master Saturday? We'd have to cast Saturday. Oh, yeah. I'm crazy <laughs> on Saturday. Alright, guys, we have a Master's level game for you on Ohana, if you can't tell by the pretty grass and the sand and the flowers blowing in the breeze next to the Terran Command Center. There's nothing wrong with these flowers. Eh, they're glows flowers. I mean, what do you expect? Alright, so we have a Terran versus Protoss matchup today. Terran. Terran versus Protoss. Terran. Ter Terran versus Terran? Yes. Why, why did you throw me off like that? Uh, th there's a TNT written Guys, there. we got some TNT for you, so this is going to be an explosive game on Ohana. Iron Sparks, shut up with the punniness. Who's playing? In our top left corner of Ohana, we have our red Terran, Nas, who is kind enough to send this into us. Woohoo! I like Nas, he's cool. And in our bottom right corner, we have our blue Terran, NST Lao Sing. Oh! That's a lousy. Alright, so here we go. Both Terran players are throwing down barracks at the exact same time. Good good call on that, guys. Yeah, Naz, it does look like Naz has a tiny, tiny bit of a lead on his barracks. Yeah, which I find interesting because it is farther away, so you'd imagine that would take a little bit more time. Yeah, and I mean, both players are sitting on essentially the same SDVs, and it even looks like Naz... Naz just looks like he has a little bit faster build timing because he got that extra SCV out a little faster. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lao Sing is liking to get that early gas. We might see some uh, factory play come into play. You don't say that he might be playing with some factory play. <laughs> um, I would say maybe factory, maybe going straight into a 1 1 1 build, getting that Destiny Cloud Fist build out to get maybe some fast banshees, do some harassment. Maybe. I mean, do you really see Banshees that much in the TVT since well, all the Marines out on that field? Unless he's trying to get really, really fast uh, Siege tanks out. I don't see him going uh, Hellions. So unless he's going to maybe Siege tanks to accompany that Siege tank Marine composition that's common for TVT, I don't know. You know, either way, it'll definitely be a good show. I mean, Oof. this Marine, he is he does spot this SV, might be able to take him out of the SV, he will uh, float away to victory. A little bit of stutter step gets him down to about, what is that, 15 HP, yeah. but it does look big as he uh, runs away. Naz checking for anything fishy going on around his base, and he is going ahead, set up his expansion. Good call from that. He only built the one Marine. He's got a second one going out now, but he's been a little bit of conservative. I have, uh, I've been noticing this with Terran players is, you know, don't, don't rush to get as many like four marines or anything like get that one marine out get rid of those scouts anything like that and then get down that command center i mean really if you don't need the marines why build them yeah so good call from nas i i'm trying to to mimic and emulate that play in my style as well and uh hey winter break's coming up for me so i'll have a couple weeks to uh play more starcraft and uh hopefully maybe get a little tiny bit better yeah uh, we'll definitely be looking to live stream once you know things get a little uh organized um, I know you just moved out. Yep. Well, I got I got the computer and office semi set up, so, uh... Just the rest of the part. Uh, the, the, the StarCraft right. station is good to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just told my girlfriend, I'll see you later. <laughs> Computer's hooked up again. We're yeah. good. So what's so we are back seeing these Hellions. Wow, that's... Pee -pee? Uh, no thank you. I already went. <laughs> Let's see, so, uh... A little push out with the uh, Marines might see a bunker try to go down. However, uh, let's be careful with this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it does look like SCV. Oh, did SV get? Oh, I almost got the kill. <laughs> uh, it does look like uh, he's gonna catch him. Oh, but these Hellions are gonna make quick work out of the Marines, though. You know, these Hellions are inadvertently a great call against these Marines that are flying heavy pressure. Marines are light units, so the Hellions are gonna be a good, uh, good uh, counter to them. It looks like he did to destroy this SCV that was built in the command center. <laughs> The one little worker civilian's like, oh my god, I lived, I gotta run away. And then that was the end of his transmission. You know, he died a hero. He did? He killed the SP that was making that command center. Oh, good job. Good job to that SCV. So uh, we do have uh, Hellions out. Actually, kind of surprising. Uh, bunker going down at the ramp for Naz. He's starting to prep up his defense against these Hellions. I mean, he knows these Hellions are there, so he's going to see uh, he run down three more barracks. going to probably get this to supplement yeah, his I mean, mining. Marines, uh, very, very weak against uh, Hellions, but you put him into a building? Oh, that poor tree! Why? Why did Smoke you... screen. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Marine! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the bunker's gonna finish. Uh, I don't think that enough DPS will be had on the Hellions to stop any type of run by, but we do have a full 1-1-1 build going for... Sorry, your feet are just so step-onable today. 
Uh, so a lot of Hellions he's getting the repair on, uh, so he has full HP when he goes to attack again. You know, he's saving up this gas. Do you think he's going to use it for a uh, tank buildup, or do you think he's going to go straight for that starport once this is done? You know, uh, who are you talking about? Naz or? What are we looking at? Uh, I don't. I don't know. He's only sitting on about ninety gas right now. But he is. I. I would fire. like to see some Marauders just to take care of the Hellions and then keep. I don't know. I'm a three M player. I like. I like my Marines, Marauders, and Medvac. Well, we probably won't be seeing that many uh, Marauders because there's no type lab down. Uh, no, there isn't. Uh, it does look like he's just trying to defend against the Hellions. I like this wall off by the Marines. So they're going to be able to stop. You can get a good concave if the Hellions decide to push in, but it does look like uh, Lousing is trying to just uh, max up his Hellions and move in. Yeah, and uh, we, got, we got seven Hellions on the map, so they should be able to take out these just fine, even though there is a concave, but the, the bunker should present some of their problem. But these Banshees, yeah, our, these Marines are gone. We, we have Banshees moving in to do a multi-prong well, attack. One. So I wouldn't be surprised if that Banshee moves in, starts putting down some, uh, some of those Hellfire missiles, and then moves in with the Hellions. Backlash rockets. Whatever, they're Hellfires. Those are from Valkyries. Hellfires are actually real missiles, they're with helicopters. Uh, SCV is running away for the life. One, two of them get knocked out. You know, I'd expect the Hellions to come in right oh, now. Oh, and all the Marines have been pulled off of the ramp. Yeah, I, 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 I think the Hellions need to move in. You know, if, if, if he, had, he had gotten these Hellions just moving right as that Banshee had come up, he would be able to get all those SCV kills that were going down. Yep, we got the starport switching over to the reactor, so we're probably going to see a lot of men back. I mean, this Vikings. Banshee got five kills, but really, um, I don't know if it really paid for it. I mean, it, it definitely delayed mining time. Um, I, yeah, it stopped mining time. We got rid of some SCVs. That's not I as mean, big of a deal. You know, if those Hellions had run in and attacked that natural, that would have been an amazing attack by Lousing. I mean, he had brought those four up. It looked like he was going to do something with them, but they decided, you know, hey, let's all group up at the Watchtower. Yeah, they're having a good old Hellion party, like a like a hot rod show in their Hellions. And uh, it does look like uh, missile turrets are going up now for Naz, and he's getting his upgrades for his ground units. He's got custom shells, stim, and uh, the combat shield upgrade going. Looks like we will be seeing tanks relatively soon since Siege Tech is almost finished. Again, a good call against the mass marine that we have. So uh, this, this is definitely going to be an interesting standoff. We've got a missile turret, so that'll prevent any further banshee play as this one's about to come. Around. Oh, actually, it's going to be Ooh, a drop. We got a Hellion drop. Hellions. Interesting. Uh, a lot of damage is going to be had on this uh, medvac. Oh, but he unloads outside the range. He's going to be able to go in there and take out these SCVs who are running away. Or building stuff. No, Same they're thing. running away. Marines come and try to clean this up. He's got to be careful, though. You know, I'm actually kind of amazed with all this Hellion play. We don't see blue flame yet. You know... Yeah, I agree. And uh, very good uh, map awareness by Naz, pulling away just in time to sustain again minimal losses. Yeah, I mean, he only got damage on a couple SCVs, but I mean, still, I mean, again, he pulled all of the defenders and, off uh, of the door. And he did have a Banshee over here that almost got killed. You know, for Naz, I'd really like to see a wall off at the top of this ramp so he doesn't have to worry about pulling all his units off of that uh, defending point. A wall off? You know, throw down some supply bows and... But the thing that he's worried about over here is that Banshee coming over. Well, I, I'm just saying, if if Lousing got smart, mm -hmm. and when he was doing this harassment, decided to move... Oh, we got the Naz's army moving out to that that tower. You know, just in the same time Ooh. as this going down... Good but concave for Lousing, though. Uh, Hellions in there. And this should be enough, because of the Marauders putting in that damage, he's going to be able to take out this tank as well. I mean, he does have Stim, he does have Medvax to heal his units uh, after they do Stim. So he's starting to put Laos, pushing Lousing back south towards his base. Mm -hmm. And again, as I was having, that medvac did go down. I believe it was full of Hellions. I don't know if they were still in there or not, but it's still another victory. This Banshee is in over here. could do damage at any moment now. Um, but there are those missile turrets up to defend. Yeah, he threw two more missile turrets, uh, three more missile turrets up on the edge right there and to like defend. We're, uh, looks like we're prepping for a lot of Marine um, buildup because two reactors coming down, but he's still going to be focused on those uh, Marauders since he did get that additional tech lab. Yeah, a uh, good call against the mech, the, the mech units are coming out for Lousing, and it does look like Naz is preparing to do his own drop, or at least his elevator move, into the main of Lousing. Yeah, I think right here would be a great spot. You'd be able to take out a few of the buildings, maybe even take out this command center, but this tank is... Drop here. on the tank is going to take out the tank. He does the parade, uh, standard militaristic drop. 
Yeah, he is taking Building a lot of units. Him. Just because of the stim and the medbag healing, he's able to do a lot of damage in a very small amount of time. Takes out that tech lab, gonna take out the supply depot, might even go for this command center before it ties the pack up and leave. Yeah, we do have a tank popping out of this factory, but it's instantly gonna be killed. Didn't even get a shot off. And again, Lousing's buildings are actually helping Naz in this. I mean, yeah. this is a relatively small attack. But Ooh, now, now would be a great time for Naz to leave. Oh, no. No, now would be a good time for him to leave. Oh, or not. You know, he's, he's actually he's doing fine right now. I mean, he does have that uh, upgrade advantage with that one armor. Now these recipes are coming to full. There's only so much room he can move back, and there's the GG. <laughs> You know, Lausing was going to be able to defend against that, but, uh... But I think he figured he... he, he I, I don't know. I mean, he would have defended against that, but then, I mean... That Naz was just building up... Naz could have just been building up behind this whole thing the whole time, and... I mean, you know, you there would have been a huge army knocking on his door, and Lausing would be like, well, I can't recover from it, so time to leave. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Great game. Uh, yeah, great game. Naz, thank you very much for staying in. We really appreciate it. And we know we got your other game as well. We'll probably cast that sometime next week. Yeah, either next week or the week after. Whichever yeah. comes first. Um, and if you guys would like to send your games into us, uh, normally we, we throw them to the top of the list and we stop hunting for games to cast. And we just cast your guys. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, we're at, what, 21 subscribers now? Yeah, 21 subscribers, and we just passed 3,000 views. Yeah, so uh, a huge thank you to you guys who are watching, who are subscribing. We really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're really, really enjoying watching the YouTube channel grow. Slowly. Slowly, yes. And uh, so, yeah, so leave a comment down below on how you think Naz and S -S uh, NST Lousing did in this game. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe. Yada, yada. Send us your replay. Emails down below in the comments. And uh, good luck. Have fun. GG.